So now we're inside the hall here at St. Andrews, and like a lot of church halls and village halls, we've got hard wooden floors, we've got solid stone walls, we've got glass windows, and these are all very hard, very reflective surfaces, reflective from an acoustical point of view. And the problem with that is then when you're inside the hall and you project a sound, just like me talking right now, my voice travels out into the room, it hits one of those hard reflective surfaces and it bounces back into the room. And then it'll hit another surface and bounce again and hit another surface and bounce again. And with every bounce, it's creating another copy of that sound, better known as an echo. And the more echo, the more bounces, the noisier and the more amplified my sound gets. So how do we solve that problem of noise and echo within a space? Well, at the Soundproofing Store, we have a range of sound absorption panels, also known as acoustic treatment. And these panels can be installed within the space, either by suspending from the ceiling, they can be fixed onto the walls, depending on the use of the space and what is more practical. And these panels are filled with a sound absorbing core. Now what happens when you install them around the room is when you project a sound and it travels out into the room, it hits the panel, and instead of bouncing back, creating that echo, it stays in the panel. The panel absorbs that sound, and it actually converts it into a very tiny amount of heat instead of sound. If you then get the right amount of sound absorption panels for the size and the shape of the room, we can reduce that echo down so much that it's no longer a problem. So we talked some of the members of the committee through some of our different options of ceiling panels, wall panels, and what we decided in the end is to use our ProSound acoustic baffles. Now these are suspended down from the ceiling, which is good in this user case because it keeps the wall space free for them to do things like decorations and displays for their different groups. So what we'd like to do now is give you a bit of a demonstration of how bad the sound is now, and then we can do the test again at the end once we've installed the sound absorption, and you can see what a difference it's made. But what I wanna do first is just explain about the sound. Now, while you're listening to me talking, you can probably hear the echo a little bit, but probably nowhere near as bad as it sounds to us in real life. And that's because currently, you're hearing the sound from this very clever microphone that I'm wearing. And this microphone is designed to only pick up the sound that's very close to it. So you get lots of my voice, but you're not really hearing the sound in the room. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna now switch the sound to another microphone, which is recording the sound for the whole of the room. And the, the echo is gonna suddenly sound a lot worse. And what we're gonna do is what we call a clap test. So I'm gonna clap my hands together. You're gonna hear how long it takes for the echo to ring out and then fade away to nothing. And then we're gonna do the same test at the end and see how much quicker it takes for the echo to stop. Okay, here we go. And one more time for good luck. So the installation of our acoustic baffles is complete. How has it changed the sound? So what we're gonna do is perform another clap test. So again, we're gonna switch from my microphone to the room microphone. Now you should be hearing the sound of the whole room. And I'll give you a clap. One more time for good luck.